So, welcome to another episode of Component Close-Up. Um, I've done a couple of these uh, little videos previously. Some interesting parts that one doesn't see anymore. Uh, this particular one, I've only got one of these. It's a part made by Marconi, well-known radio company. Made in England. There's nothing in really obvious date code on here. But there is a frequency. It says 333.33 kcs, or kilocycles per second. Well, that's the old name for what we now call hertz. So that's 333.33 kilohertz. So what is this thing? It's in a casing like a valve. It's a, it's a glass envelope. It's got pins on the bottom. Seven pins, like a valve base. In fact, if I get a valve, you'll see that it's exactly the same. It's just like a valve. There's a, a Mallard DAF91. Seven pins. Just the same. Same length, same diameter. But look at the top there. The valve has got the silver getter material on the inside of the glass. This thing hasn't. It's clear. So this thing hasn't got a vacuum in it. That's fairly reasonable to assume. It's a shame they've made that kind of frosted effect all round it because we really can't see the inside of it. And you can have a look down the end, you can't quite make it out. This is actually a quartz crystal. So inside this glass envelope, there's a little bit of quartz, a little sliver, a slice of quartz, with electrodes on each side. You can just see that there's some gold colour coming through the the frosted effect there. That gold coloration may well actually be a gold plating on the quartz itself. So there's a square slab of quartz in there. And if we turn it round, maybe we'll catch the light on the back of it. There it goes. And there's the back of the quartz slab. And it catches the light a little bit. But all you can see of it. So this thing is, in a glass envelope, a quartz crystal. Plugged into a socket gives you a frequency reference of 333.33 kilohertz. And that was how crystals were done in those days. So you might ask, well, what does a crystal look like nowadays? What's a more typical looking crystal? This thing looks much too much like a valve. Well, back in the day, crystals could look like something like this. This is actually a crystal in a socket. These white connections are actually socket pins and the whole thing will unplug if you grab hold of it and pull. Uh, this particular one just over a megahertz I think. Frequency on the end of the thing somewhere. Um, that's a fairly normal sized crystal for maybe the 1970s. Um, they got smaller as everything did. So this quartz crystal here, this is a 4.433619 megahertz crystal. This is probably out of a PAL color television set or video recorder. So this is a quartz crystal, maybe from the 80s. Again, can't see a date code on that. Um, so that's a fairly typical sort of size from an old TV video recorder. But they got smaller, and this is a sort of thing that you might be familiar with today. This is a 16 megahertz crystal. Notice how it's the same pin spacing and the same overall case height and, well, a case width and length, perhaps you could say. Um, but it's a lot shorter, so it would fit in the same PCB layout as the larger one. Get that lined up. Um, it, this one fit in the same PCB holes as that one, take up the same area on the board, but it's a lot shorter. Fantastic, so that makes it a low-profile crystal. Now, if that looks familiar, maybe it's because it's used in things like the Arduino. And if I just bring an Arduino in here, here is the Arduino microcontroller board. And sure enough, just on the board, just here, we've got a crystal. Metal can. This is much more typical nowadays to have a metal um, canister completely sealed up. And that's a 16 megahertz crystal. And when it was as a loose component, it would have looked like Ah, look like that. So that's simply the component before soldering it down. Naturally, they got smaller again. 
so we can look at one of these come here we can look at one of these um, parts here this is a surface mount version so it's got no leads ah, that's just gone flying away and it has no leads except those flat metal contacts on the bottom so that could be soldered down as a surface mount part no holes in the PCB for that um, but even that is way too big of course and to come up to date so there is a surface mount crystal of the modern style that's an 8 megahertz one and if we flip that over without losing it which is the problem with sometimes the there we go that is the underside it's got four flat metal contacts and they would be soldered to the board um, with the four pads on the board solder it down and there you go that's your crystal um, no holes in the board so you can run tracks on the other side um, the whole thing is much smaller and if we get back to the original glass valve style crystal that we started with you can see that that is a lot smaller so there we have it the uh, quartz crystal in the form of a valve or vacuum tube envelope and marked in kilocycles per second <laughs>